Hello everybody, welcome, cheers. You caught me here and I just wanted to show you, yesterday I talked a little bit about making those ceramic buttons that hold the um, ceramic fibre to the side of the kiln you remember. And I just wanted to show you now in a little bit more detail what I'm doing with the kiln. So, it's going to get the camera down here on the kiln itself. Let me just do that. <clears throat> so, there we are. That's, I think that's a good, a good picture at the moment. So, so what have we got? Well, we've got here a kiln that is like this on its side, not like this in this case. And what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to be doing is cutting this lengthwise, you understand, along here, like this, so that this part becomes the lid. So what's, why, am I, why am I making a kiln like that? Well, I just thought that it will, would give me a, would be like a, um, a lower kiln, but would, would, would have more shelf space for putting pieces on. You know, you know, when you have a normal conventional kiln like this, when you take, you, you know, your actual space for putting pots on is only, is only quite small. So by having it sideways like that, I'm going to gain more, more, more shelf space because basically a raku kiln only has one shelf so if you can make if i can make that a little bit of, of a bigger shelf so much the better what i plan to do is um at this end here of the kiln i'm going to have a, a hole at the base here um and then the shelf the shelf is going to be and i'm going to utilize what i've got yeah I can't utilize what I haven't got, I can only utilize what I have got. <laughs> what I've got is these in the way of shells and I haven't got anything else. So these are going to go in sideways all the way along here and they're going to lo locate themselves inside this going across ways. The burner of course is going to be underneath there so the flame is going to come in underneath and then it's going to swirl around like this coming this way and then over the top and then the chimney is not having a conventional chimney it's just having a hole like usual for these raku kilns I'm not going to put the hole in the top I'm going to put the hole here on the end the same end where the where the burner is going to go in that same end let me just see if we're down there in the picture yes seems that we are so what we're going to do is, I bought, you can buy one of these, as I mentioned before, you can buy one of these type weed burners for around about $20. I paid $19.95 for this. So let's light it up and see what happens. Now this particular burner has got a turbo boost lever here which enables you to like that but of course I'm not going to be using that when I'm firing the kiln. I'm going to be using the little control knob on the top here which is going to gradually give me more, more power as I need it. But that's going to go in here at the base. Like that. And as I said, I'm going to put the chimney on this end here. So it'll be going that way and back over and then out here. So that's it in a nutshell. Not much more I can tell you at the moment. My next, my next job is to, with the, my trusty cutters, 
these are good cutters they they cut pretty well you need something like that because this will easily easily cut this material you see one of these so I'm going to mark out mark out here along this line probably going to be a little bit under the halfway mark where this is going to go and then I'm just going to cut all the way along with this and then you'll see the um, you see the this square bit I've just put on the end here which is making the end of the kiln well the, the top bit here I'll, I'll just going to snip that away make it neat and tidy on both ends but I'll leave this on the bottom here of course because that that helps the kiln to stops it rolling away doesn't it so there we are should be I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be good you know um, what you want to do is when you're making a, a kiln now I've actually seen you know some raku kilns and I saw one here in the US the other day that somebody had whereby the burner the burner the torch if you like the torch was coming up from underneath like this right if you can imagine coming up underneath like that and then the, the chimney was a hole in the top so I, I sort of looked at that and I thought well hmm the problem with that is that the, 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 the flame is going to take the fastest route out that's what you need to remember so of course with a hole straight at the top here for the chimney that were, and the burner pointing upwards that's just going to go straight out the chimney so that I didn't I didn't think that was very efficient something like this though lengthwise you see you're making that the, the the route of the flame the pathway of the flame going horizontal all the way down to the end of the kiln okay then it's forced to turn back on itself there's no way out down there for the flame to go so it has to turn back it wants to go upwards and outwards somewhere because heat rises doesn't it so it wants to escape upwards but there's nowhere for it to escape upwards it's got to go all the way down to the very end here where I'll put a hole here and the flame will come out the end here like that so I'm trying to what am I do what am I doing by doing this I'm trying to create the longest possible possible pathway for the flame to circulate around the kiln before it leaves the kiln and by doing so it's going to impart its calorific value into the fabric of the kiln and into the pots that are in the kiln before before it leaves this is my theory <laughs> I think it's I think it's fairly sound actually anyway I'm not a kiln expert but I think a kiln a kiln expert would say yeah I, well I think so but I'm sure I'm going to get some feedback on this so if you've got some feedback let's have it it's it's not just for my benefit but it's for the benefit of all of us you know if if you've got something to say about it then then share it and make a comment okay hey Simon Leach here saying haven't got my glass of beer in my hand it's over there but cheers thanks for watching keep practicing and uh, let's let's get this kiln finished and on the road okay Bye now. Dee, 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 dee.